state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Herbert Garrison. To technical support, how am I help you? Yeah, I'm a goat salesman. I heard you like to fuck goats, so I'm calling to see if you want to buy any. Uh, this is the technical support department, sir. Again, I'm a goat salesman. I heard you like to fuck goats, so I'm seeing if you want to buy any. And two scammer here, mother chode. Is there anything I can help you with your computer? Terry Maka Bosa Damaru Mother Chode. Uh, can you just turn on the computer, please? Uh, are you deaf, man? If you can, like, really, are you brain deaf? I can really help you out. Yeah, I got it on, and I see your mom petting a goat. Yeah, please turn on the computer, sir. Sir, it's on, and I see your mother petting a goat. Uh, shall we go ahead and connect with your computer from our server? Sir, tell me something. Do you like fucking goats, cows, or dogs? If you can turn on the computer, we can diagnose it from our side. Backward show, listen to me, little gandu. Are you deaf? We'll clear whatever will be the problem. We'll take care of it from our side. Hey, Gondo, I know you can understand me. What the hell is your problem? We can you know, clear put some money this on the idiot. We'll, uh, like, clear all the malwares, whatever will be in computers, sir. Oh, my God. That ain't good. Shall we start the work? Okay. Okay. Uh, tell me, uh, can you see the keyboard of the computer? Yes. Okay, on the left-hand side, down bottom corner, can you see a Windows key which looks like a flag? Yes. And can you see letter R on the keyboard? R as in uh, Randy? Really? I'm surprised you know what that means. If you can press both the keys together at the same time, let me know. Uh, you said, said control R as in Randy, which is uh, what your mother is. Uh, Randy, like Randy Orton, WWE uh, superstar Randy. Uh, oh, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry. It's okay, so, you are a son of a Randy, you can uh, mistaken that. Hold way. on, so hold on. You're like R together. Hold on, hold on. You just call my mother a Randy or a prostitute? I'm your no, mother. I'm, oh, I'm oh. just giving you an example, like R as in Randy, like Randy Oton. Oh, my bad. So, control R as in it's Randy. Control, it's uh, Windows and letter R. Oh, like control, uh, Windows, R as in Randy. My bad. Yeah. Uh, press both the keys together at the same time. Okay. Okay, and tell me what you see on the computer screen now. Uh, I see a little box. It has run on there. Okay. Now, before we'll go ahead and diagnose the computer from our side, there's one deal I want to throw to you and let me know if you or you like that deal or not. Okay? Okay. Okay, so the deal is that, as you know, that uh, we are the scammers and uh, we scam uh, people like you. But you are smart enough, you will not get scammed, uh, that's for sure. If you can uh, give us some of the uh, customers from your neighborhood or from your contacts to which we can scam, we can give some of the percentage to you. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm a heartless sociopath, but I'm not that corrupted now. Well, 
uh, trust me on that you earn so much and uh, that too sitting at your home bro i'd rather be a goat salesman than be a scammer uh, that's a very good deal i'm throwing at you life don't give the opportunities daily if you have the opportunity you should grab it otherwise you'll be keep on doing the stuff which you do on a daily basis like i mean dude i'd rather work hard for my money cuz frankly i'm not a heartless sociopath so i don't condone scamming people if i condone I give you the opportunity of choosing one thing working hard and working smart what will you choose you choose working hard or working smart what will you choose again working hard cuz okay. i don't condone scamming unlike you dirty mother chodes well i i feel so pity about you then what my sympathy is always with you you work hard yeah like i said i got morals i mean yeah i might be a heartless yeah, sociopath yeah. but i serve that more you know you live in united states where government don't have morals they rule people like you who take morals on their shoulder that doesn't surprise me one bit especially on the 45s administration hmm. how old are you let's just say i'm around 20 you are 20 yes well let well let's say you live till 80 so you have like uh, 60 more years and you will stay young till uh, let's say 40 45 so you have like uh, 20 25 years out of which you will spend 1/6 of that sleeping that's a fact so life is short bro work smart that it is you don't know when you're going to get called back home i live by that every day everyone live their life every day no nah, man like i live life like every day is my last cuz i don't know when i'll be called back well in that case you should be bankrupted by now because if today's your last day you should spend all your money today itself whoa, whoa, whoa. I like helping people. Sex. So you should do sex with multiple girls if today is your last day. You should be not aware of AIDS. So these kinds of things that today is my last day that's like bogus. Bro, I don't need to pay for your sex cuz I'm like a little bit of a playboy here in the states and I got a lot of women that I can hit up for that. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. You said that you live your day as if it's your last day. So you should have sex with multiple girls uh, today itself. You should be not aware of uh, you should be not concern of age if today is your last day. That's how you live your life you said. You should spend then all your savings today itself if today is your last day. Yeah, you but if I did that, I would like donate to a charity or something. I got like, you know, help people down the line. not supporting like the activities you do so 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 tell me or like you in new delhi or something i need what like I, i said are you in new delhi or something yeah that's right yeah yeah one other scammer i called the other day explained to me that the mumbai operations got shut down a few years ago and y'all moved to uh new delhi mm mm-hmm. this is new delhi jeez i mean so tell me like do you speak uh hindi or like yes. what other dialects are there in that country oh, yeah technically it's a country yes i do speak hindi that doesn't surprise me I mean but you're a lot more subtle than the Nagami scammers that I occasionally deal with. 
I know how some of you guys feel about them. Yeah. So, uh, can you help me scamming more people? Oh, man, like I said, I'm a heartless sociopath, but I still got morals. I have morals. I mean, I sell people out that cross me. I get even with them, but people that don't mess with me, I just leave them alone. Okay. What are your thoughts on U.S. government? We're fucked. They're fucked? Yes. We got our own problems in our country. The race relations and all that. And 45, you know, condoning white supremacist terrorism. Heck, we had two school what? students here the other day. One in Georgia and a mass murder out there in Texas. That's earlier that day. Mm. That's why I said we're fucked if, you know, 45 doesn't do something about these guns. Well, these kinds of problems are almost in every country. That I honestly believe, but at least we got the firepower to deal with that. Uh, you cannot, like, uh, eliminate these problems completely, to be honest. These remain... Yeah. Yeah, I know that, but we pretty much stopped North Korea from, you know, using their nukes on us. Because Trump yeah. actually stood up to him. Yeah. Uh, you know about the uh, king of North Korea? Yes, Kim Jong-un. Yeah. That fat son of a bitch. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, you received a call from our side. You received a message from our side. That's why you're returning the call or what? Yes. So you know exactly how we scam? Yes. How we scam? It's because you usually pay the money. You usually tell the victim to pay the money up front, saying, like, you either get a year's worth of service or lifetime. Mm -hmm. It depends on how much y'all feel like charging, but I know that's for a fact. Mm -hmm. And then once you get access to their machine, you go to Event Viewer and, you know, show them like fake viruses that aren't there and then right, they right, usually right. pay the money that's and right, that's right. well well they go to like team viewer or something and then you know yeah. you get remote access to their computer then you show that's them like right. event viewer how do you know exactly how we do how do you know about that it's in the news or what i, I did my research i I know a lot of scam baiters, and I know how to get okay. inside your heads. Okay. Uh, have you ever visited India? No, but I've heard that that country is pretty underdeveloped. Yeah, that's right. It actually so, it comes in developing countries. As advanced as the others. Like... Like it, like the Emirates, they're pretty developed, especially Dubai. Yeah, Dubai is a excellent city. You visited Dubai? Yes, I've been to uh, Amsterdam and Paris a couple times, so I've been all around the world. Hmm. Well, these are uh, pretty beautiful cities to visit for Amsterdam, Paris, Dubai. India is I, I don't think it's worth visiting. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that until y'all, you know, start taking off and catching up with us, like, development-wise. Hmm. India is not worth visiting, but if you have any interest in meditation, then you can visit India, Rishikesh. Well, I know y'all guys are pretty good at making curry over there. Hmm. Yeah. If you get 
a chance you you can visit there but still i still believe it's not worth visiting from us to india no it's not worth visiting well, I'll add that to my list of do not visit countries. I'll probably go to Dubai next. Well, back to Dubai. I'm sorry, what? I said I might go back to Dubai then. Hmm. Okay. You said you are 20 years old? Yes. So or, or what sports do you play? You play basketball or baseball over there? No, I do robotics. Okay. In India, we only play cricket. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. And we bet on cricket matches. Really? Yeah. You do I mean, betting? We... Like hunting? No, I do not bet. I... I spectate, but I do not bet. <laughs> okay. Do you earn? I mean, dude, I'm studying computer science. That's why I'm pretty tech savvy about, like, the tech support scams especially. Okay. Well, as you're a computer science student, that's why you know exactly how we work, but most of the time people are not aware of it. That's because they don't do their research, and then you're targeting yeah. elderly people. That's right. I don't condone you doing that, man, because they got enough problems. Well, well, I don't condone targeting the elderly because, you know, they've made their money. They deserve to live out their golden years in peace. Well, there's no harm if they'll give some money to us. We are so much underdeveloped country, as you know. I'm aware of that, but at least come to the States. I met some Indian guys from Microsoft a few months ago, and they were enjoying what they were doing, like the real Microsoft company. Because they came to my, well, university for like a career fair or something. Well, they are enjoying what they are doing. We are enjoying what we are doing. Everyone should enjoy what whatever they are doing. But yet, you sis keep people's computers after you get their money. Yeah. Leaving their computers pretty much useless. And they got to take it to a real, you know, tech support place, like a repair so shop. We are increasing the customer for the real tech guy as well, how good we are. Yeah, but that's more money out of the victim's pocket. The money that have to repair that entire computer and like start fresh and just buy a new one. Yeah, that's right. But they should think about that before giving us the money. We are not taking the money on a gunpoint. Sometimes some of y'all threaten people like in the voicemails. Like we are sitting miles, miles away from you. How can we even threat you? I don't even understand that. To be honest, I'm just smart enough to, you know, call people out on that and, you know, gather information. Mm -hmm. Well, we are not sure how long our work will continue, but uh, as it's going, so we are working. How much money have y'all made, if you don't mind me asking? Like, I know y'all have probably made like a couple of million this year. Well, this is a very big industry. Like, how and, big? Well, this is a really big industry, and the uh, uh, the main point is that when we convert dollars into our currency, we make a lot of money. And I'm wondering where that money goes. Like, I know your country's, like, underdeveloped by miles, but where is that money going? Well, it's uh, going in our personal pockets, and then we are living the luxury lives. Do y'all, like, pay off the cops so they look the other way during y'all's, like, operations? Because like, I've heard rumors about that, to be honest. 
Yeah, we have to sometimes spare them. That doesn't surprise me. You got to do what you got to do to get by. Yeah. Even though I don't agree with it, I can completely understand it. Well, I'm, I'm getting a call from someone. I'll talk to you later on. Okay. Okay, have a good day. Bye. You too.